show you. So what I usually do um, before I start, because often when I do this, it's like it's like I don't have a like ah, like idea coming up in my head and like yes, I'm gonna do that. It's like I have to force myself. I, so I basically what I do is I just take out my notepad and just draw every, anything I can come up with. Like I don't limit myself at all. I just draw whatever I feel like like my higher, higher self or whatever you want to call it like speaks to me i just draw it uh, and it can be like anything basically that I look, can even look like this after a while but then once i like oh this looks interesting and then i just try to uh refine it and like oh maybe if i put a circle here or if i what happens if this comes out here or like and i just go crazy and uh, and uh yeah, I just try to, if you look at the, uh, the chair now, you can see my sketches. Um, so yeah, you just, I just basically like, I, that, that is something I can recommend you and just, if you want to do something like any animation, just take out your notepad. It's so under, un, underestimated. Yeah. To yeah, like, definitely. yeah, it's uh, super, it's uh, super valuable. Um, so, and this is basically how I do all my, <laughs> all my, um, my work. It's just like starts, it's always, rarely does it start with me just jumping into After Effects. Maybe it hasn't ha happened, but like once or twice, but mainly like uh, through these uh, sketches. I think you've uh, really highlighted the importance of drawing things out. Yeah. Because uh, I'll be honest, I don't do that. Nice. Uh, when I want to create something, I go straight to Illustrator, illustrate it out, and then animate it. Mm. And uh, usually it doesn't turn out that great. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, yeah, when you're uh, you know, drawing it out on paper, it kind of brings out new ideas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's super nice. Uh, it's just like you, you really get the sense of it before you start uh, in After Effects or in Illustrator or. And it's like it's a, so. It's, a, it's like a really good foundation for your uh, animation or design or whatever you want to do. <clears throat> so yeah, and once I've done that, I usually like okay, can this idea can this idea work? Like, does it work? Uh, and then I just like um, take it into After Effects. And I this is one of my latest, but I try to just nail the the idea and just try to see if. It's something I want to do, and often, sometimes it's like, okay, this I did did not work at all, and then, yeah, to have, then I throw it away basically, um, and I, if I if I were to do all, like show all the loops I've done, I'd probably like end up at like 150 loops or something like that. But a lot of it is in just, yeah, trash the trash pan. But so. Yeah. And then I try to, okay, this idea really works. And then I try to just refine the animation a bit and just um, mm -hmm. try to make it more, uh, yeah. And then yeah. I put on the, the, the glossiness and the, uh, yeah. And then that. like, I think I remember seeing this in uh, Buck You Back's repost. Yeah. Said, uh, yeah, I mean, that was, that was a, uh, awesome work like I was uh, you know yeah I, I mean when you're uh, ideating I think you've broken it down like properly like uh, when we see this normally people would think okay how is he how does he think of it like it's all flashy and you know it's completely distracting when you're animating but once it's done it's it's uh, it's really like you know it captures you instantly so that's something that uh, yeah I mean sorry if I'm blabbering on yeah um, yeah, the great, great comments. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a process. Like it's nothing, nothing that like happens like that, and you, you have to really put in the work. So, and then I want to say that often what takes time is is actually like finding the right colors. So I, sometimes I can go through like several iterations of color, and it's very hard sometimes. And you can. Can, I could, it's happened that I, like on a weekend, I've spent like a day almost like eight hours just trying to find the right colors and just basically tearing my hair out because it's been 
it, it doesn't feel uh, right. And I just want to add also that the having the right colors can really make or break your animation. So it's really, really important to have the right contrast between colors mm -hmm. because else everything can just melt together and you don't know where to focus. And yeah. So, um, yeah. And um, what else do I want to mention? Yeah, it's, uh, that's basically how I do all my loops. Uh, but, um, and a lot of people just ask me like, how do you, not a lot, but if, if this, some people ask me that, uh, how, how I've done my loops or if I've watched any tutorials or anything. And my answer is like, no, I haven't watched any tutorials or, uh, so my tip would be for you, if you want to do something similar or like anything, basically you just have to start from scratch and first it's gonna suck <laughs> like this one, for example, it's, I mean, it, it can be interesting, but it's not so. <laughs> Um, and in the beginning, like with everything, basically learning a new language or whatever, it's gonna you're gonna suck in the beginning, and you just have to plow through and uh, and just do the work, uh, basically to uh, to get to where you want. And uh, I think that's with everything you can't you can't uh, make it take a shortcut. Um, um, so yeah. Um, and I also want to say that often when I do this, it's just not like fun. <laughs> often it's just really like I have to, I know that I, I want to improve or I want to put out something and I just like, okay, I'm going to spend five minutes be like that. This is at least how I work. Like I, 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 I sit down and I work like five minutes or like, uh, or sorry, I sit down and I force myself to sit down and just start sketching on anything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's and I think that's uh, been working for me pretty well because inspiration comes like after a while and then you just keep going. Um, but yeah, so I, yeah, that's my uh, that's my trick. And um, cool. also, so, yeah, that's great, man. Great. Uh, I, so, I would like, yeah, uh, can you, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I was asking, like, how do you stylize the elements, you know? How do you get to... Uh, 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 do you plan this stylization initially, or it just happened when you when you started working on the animations? Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I think I, I understood. Uh, uh, it's... Um, so, yeah, it's, 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 as I said, like, it's, sometimes it can be, like, like I get an idea on paper and it looks really cool, and then I take in take it into After Effects and it doesn't work at all. So then I have to go back to the, the sketching phase, whatever you want to call it, and just start uh, sketching again and just trying to find refine it or just like completely do it all over again because it doesn't work. Uh, and after a while, when, like you get better at what you're doing, like you get better at finding ideas. Right? Uh, so. You, Brain starts to evolve uh, around finding new and interesting ideas, and it's just so it's just like a muscle basically that you have to. Uh, and the same with colors, feeling for colors, I think just uh, it's a muscle you have to really. Yeah. Okay. So if we if we can get get a glimpse of a after which filing, that would be great too. Like. Oh. How do you stylize it? Do, do you use layer styles or do you use extra plugins or your? Um, sorry. Uh, oh, um, um, I can see here. I can just open up something. Uh, it's. I mean, I'm a bit embarrassed yeah. <laughs> because it's not a super pretty setup. Because I know that this is oh, not nothing. I'm we also need to have. <laughs> um, so do you have any? Should I just pick a loop? Uh, uh, Maybe the latest story that I think of. Yeah, sure. Um, let's see. Uh, and it's as I like, don't take my folder structure. Uh, like how I, I, it's it's a bit embarrassing. I must admit. So. Uh, I think we're all guilty of that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, so 
yeah, so not I haven't structured this main comp three, two, four, six, and I just like so it's not yeah very nice, but yeah, so it's a lot of basically it's a lot of uh, uh, pre comps. It's just it's how I like to work uh, somehow. I mean, you can I've seen people who just like do everything in one go and one, and for me that just seems. Uh, yeah, too hard for me. But, um, so yeah, so I just so I basically start. Um, so here's the, uh, the the base of it, and I just uh, um, this is just uh, the entire animation. Like it's not, mm. and then I just dupli basically duplicate it four times. Um, um, and then also if I go back here, it's duplicated two times, and here it's duplicated four times. Uh, and then you get like this animation. Um, so yeah, so I just start basically really simple. I can maybe show you like uh, uh, the first or yeah, the very first After Effects file where it doesn't have anything, but you just get an idea. Mm -hmm. So this is how I. Uh, see how I've done it but yeah so, so I just, this is just an I this is how I did it on paper first and then I just try it out and it's like mm, it's pretty interesting like uh, uh, so if, if 40 uh, degree ang angled square just turns into a box that's pretty I've done it oh, I haven't done it before but um, yeah so some like simple transitions like that really speak to me uh, and then I just evolve it. I'm like, okay, how can I go back? How can I mm -hmm. return to this from like here? How can I go from here to here in, a, in an interesting way? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I just uh, try to evolve it. And then, yeah, okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, and then I, yeah. So this is a really early version of it, uh, but yeah. So I'm getting closer. Like it's now it's a, a forty degree angled square again. So that's mm -hmm. that's what I want. And then I okay. Yeah, and then I yeah. So it just continues like that until I uh, let's see jump. Yeah. Uh, Carl, uh, just a quick question. Uh, do you? Um, time yourself when you're doing this like uh, you know do you give yourself a, a time limit so you gotta finish it in so and so time and is it like you know is it or is it just randomly between your main commercial projects um yeah i usually like try to set off like a bit of time but like uh, in after after i've done my normal work i just try to find like time in my schedule to just put in some time. And I think that's how you have to do it. You just have to be disciplined and just start. So what I do in the morning before I, my, um, like I have the most energy, I just take out my notepad and just draw anything. Mm -hmm. And I spend like, like 10 minutes maybe. And then I, next day I do the same thing. And then like it builds, it builds on, like it's and more and more. And then eventually I find something. And then I find like on paper, and then I just take it into After Effects. I spend like 15 minutes and just try that idea out really quickly. And I feel like, okay, this is interesting. And then it usually, usually snowballs. And I, but I think on average, I spend like maybe three, two, uh, I not three, that's, uh, but maybe up to two days making the loop. Like if I really uh, go from like sketch to, finished loop basically awesome yeah. and uh, we have one question from uh, in, the, in the chats we have a question from Alina I am I'm sorry if I didn't say it right say your name right uh, uh, can you come forward and ask or shall I ask the question uh, yeah hi you said it correctly thank you <laughs> uh, oh. Carl thank you for showing the back Screen. Yeah, no worries. your worry, kind of. Uh, I was wondering if you could reveal your secret of such great smooth gradient animations. 
because uh, yeah. it seems like you have a lot of like all the control over it and I cannot grasp how you do it to be honest yeah. uh, it would be great for if you showed it yeah Thank sure you. I can uh, it's I mean it's very simple like I believe like just keeping it simple is always like but yeah it's easier said than done I guess um, if you go back to my latest I can show you like how I did the, the gradient. Um, so basically, this is the gradient, uh, and it's um, uh, let's see. I can move these, these, these two distance, and then it just like basically I can. So it's basically like just uh, squares. Like yeah, I I put like a wiggle on uh, on the on the. Yeah, circles and then they just wiggle around and I add some blur. Uh, and then I add like a directional blur to just make it a bit, I don't know, reflection-y, I don't know what, whatever. I, I really like directional blur. I've used it a lot lately. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so then the, the blur is just to get this like a bit of more organic feel in the reflections. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's, it's just like I put I have um, uh, I have a. Uh, this is the one of the layers, and then I just uh, let's see. Yeah, so I used the 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 layer the this one as a mat, and then it just has to just I just leave it like that, and often you you get this like if you have a bit of a movement in the reflection, you get like. The sense of that that the reflection is that yeah that the reflection is how do you say it like uh, something is happening in the surroundings it's hard but it's just it's just basically that it's not, nothing fancy and, and just I think that maybe you could try it like just experiment for yourself and see it's just a very cheap trick to make something look really nice and then. Uh, yeah, what else do I do? I uh, oh, um, I add a bit of, uh, sometimes I add a bit of blur of shadow as well, but now I've, uh, let me see what I've done here. I can't even, yeah, it's, it's minor things. Uh, uh, and then uh, what, what I usually do in the end, like, so, uh, oh yeah, I, I like, if, if you have like, if you have like a fake 3D, you can like flip the, the, the reflection like, layer in on the other side to get like, uh, so it doesn't, so the sides doesn't melt together to get, so you get like a bit of, so that's also an easy trick to, so it, yeah, it's really simple and then I add a bit of uh, like yeah, the glow, like or like whatever you want to call spill edge glow, mm -hmm. I call it. Uh, and uh, you can add some uh, like a vignette to make it a bit more interesting, I guess. Uh, and oh yeah, this is the late latest addition to my loops actually that I found recently is that I I just like to put uh, uh, it's like a completely different color. For example, if I take this to no, it's just uh, like a pink or not pink, but a purple uh, blurred uh, shape layer that I uh, uh, that I put over, and then I just put that on an overlay, and it just gives it a bit more becomes a bit more interesting, introducing like a, a light coming from something, and maybe you can like be even more creative and put like several col colors doing this it's very uh, yeah and then but yeah uh, it's just I, as i showed, said it before i think it's all comes down to just you just doing the work and just spending if you want to get somewhere i mean learning a language even is you have to study a lot i'm learning spanish at the moment so I'm, i know it's just very rough in the beginning uh, um so yeah it's just you have to you basically have to just put in the work and just start making shitty work because it's gonna a lot of like big people has probably said that like uh, 
in the beginning and you're gonna suck but uh, after a while after you spent like i think yeah it's i've i've been making like 160 maybe loops these loops now for over the time span of like uh four years like that so it's you have to do the grind basically yeah <laughs> Um, we have some more questions. So, um, yeah, I think, Rishabh, you can come forward with that question. Surely. Thanks, Rishabh. Hey, Kyle, how are you? Hey, good. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi. Thanks, same here. So, uh, I was wondering if you can tell how much time would it take you to create the whole animation from start to finish, like including the conceptualization or storyboarding to adding the final refinement and glues and etc. Yeah, good question. Um, so yeah, um, I think it usually takes like two uh, two days. Like one one like one like certain loops takes only like one day, but I think I average around two days to two days. I think to find like these latest loops because I spend a lot of time just like putting in the. Just figuring out how I'm gonna do the the colors and and yeah the reflections and so on, and I put a lot in a lot of like detail like as you see here and lines going. Uh, so it's just a lot of uh, a lot of like figuring out stuff and seeing what works. Uh, just basically line like yeah strokes that going. So um, yeah, uh, I think two days. Would be so uh, can you like uh like convert it into how many hours that it took in the two days span yeah sure um so a day for me is like eight hours a typical day so maybe like 16 hours mm -hmm. maybe 16 right. but i've Thanks done so yeah i i like that you set it as eight hours yeah. you know uh because a lot of people would be working 24 hours. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and getting like eight hours of sleep, yeah. and that's been included. But I think like that's a very healthy, uh, you know, practice to just keep work to eight hours, and then you know after that we get to go on with our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's something I really envy. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Um, me too. I mean, I'm not perfect. By far, not perfect. Perfect. Uh, and I wanna just. Uh, what I think is also not a lot of people are talking about is that um, what I find like found like is that if you live if you live if you're healthier then you're gonna like you're gonna feed your brain a lot more simply simpler like if you're eating cleanly like um, you're gonna provide the nutrients to your brain uh, which is gonna like make you your brain work more efficiently and uh, produce you're gonna produce you're gonna be a lot smarter and like your your creativity is gonna like go through the roof if you if you like clean up your diet for example it's like it's a day break it's a game changer in my opinion like how you like because that has influenced me i feel like i feel sometimes when i yeah, like I feel so inspired. Like I just want to do stuff, and I, just, and I know it's because I've been taking care of myself, like exercise and and uh, so on. And before that, I was not so healthy. And uh, this it's just uh, uh, like I was going to show this one, and I and I'm firm firm believer in in this lifestyle. And just eating the right foods will just make sure that you your brain is going to outperform all the other brains. I'm, I'm guaranteed. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, I was just, uh, I was just, you know, saying rightly said. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, I think we can move on to the next question. Um, okay. Uh, Valeria, I, uh, again, I'm really sorry if I don't say it right. Um, um, do you want to come forward and ask, or do you want? Uh, is it okay if I ask? All right. I'll, um, so Valeria was asking, do you have a Patreon um, 
that she would like to subscribe to? Um, I, I mean, thinking about it uh, and just like some having some sort of uh, site where I can just upload my like AI files or something like that, where people can people can download them, and see how I made certain things. Uh, but um, I have not nothing yet, unfortunately. But I'm but I'm thinking about it. Some some sort of way to just give back to the community. Community, I think definitely it's gonna happen in the future soon. TM. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Please yeah. do because uh, you know it's. Uh, uh, I think like a majority of the artists uh, do try to return the you know do something give something back to the community somehow and that that's something that I've. Uh, found quite unique to uh, you know in the motion design industry and like that's very great like you know everyone's supportive of each other and that's something that uh, you know that's something uh one of, i think it's one of the most positive things yeah. in our industry yeah. and uh we have two questions so i'm just gonna say it uh, because both the questions are the same uh shabir and amrit has asked how you choose your color palette or how do you choose such dope colors Cool. That's a great question. I actually use uh, uh, let's, let's see here, a website called Cooler. It's like uh, I don't know how to say it in, in English. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, um, yeah, it's like a website. It's Adobe's own website, and you can just uh, uh, I usually go here and explore, and then I write like anything crazy. For example, that was one of the last searches I did and uh, you get like this really nice color palettes and I just go through them and just try out a whole bunch of them and see if I like and sometimes I use them and sometimes I just create my own color palette but I think this is a really good page to to uh, find cool colors if you're looking for colors uh, and you can just like go in here and just oh this is nice and then you can just click on this and then um, yeah just uh, let's see um let's go here i have a little, little color control and then just yeah or yeah. <laughs> um so that this is how i work like when i choose my colors i just go i have like a set that is up in a way that i can just experiment uh find the right colors and sometimes i mean this is you might you make this look good, I'm sure, like if you put in a bit more contrast here and there. Like, yeah, it's hard to. Yeah, so this is not a super good example, maybe to pick colors, but uh, yeah, so this is how I do it. And I used, um, um, I used to have like uh, all of these like on the sides, mainly like. And then I have this uh, pick width to the color. And that's just how I do it. And then it's easy for me to just, once I've done all the animation, just uh, refine or like find the right colors. I, I just do this and I'm sure there's other like plugins and so on, but I'm, I'm very primitive in my, like as you can see in my like uh, After Effects uh, setup, it's not as cool as some other people's setup. I'm very like, simple mind when it comes to it no, i think i think that's much better because you know keeping it simple is you know when you can always come back and you know okay i know this i know that but if uh we end up losing you know, using a lot of plugins i just get confused i mean this is me just personally i get a lot confused yeah, yeah. what's happening yeah um, it can be a nightmare so um also i think like uh, color theory is something that I feel like you are very strong on. Thank um, you. You know, because I, I've been going through your profile uh, yeah. and it's like, you know, everything seems to like, it's all spot on. So like, I feel like, you know, he's got, uh, that's something that I would love to learn mm. more about me personally. I'm weak on it. Yeah. Um, so we'll move on to the next question. Um, Ridul, uh, do you want to come forward and ask or Hey, sure. Hi, Carl. Thanks for hey. joining us. Hey, thank you. Yeah. 
So I really like your latest piece. I mean, it's really awesome. I mean, oh, I don't you. know if it's just me, and I, I don't know if it's just me, but I find like a journey of a cube. It like like you know interprets me as a journey of a cube. So my question here is like, do you focus on storytelling or like is it all just abstract? Uh, sorry, I didn't quite hear the last. I mean, do you focus on storytelling as such, or it's just just uh, like you know like it's okay. all abstract? Yeah. Like, yeah so. so yeah, that's a good. I'm I'm not much of a. I've never been a much of a like a yeah, storyteller, to be honest. I, 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 I know how to animate characters, but I, and I've done it. I like before I worked at the studio where I did mainly character animation, believe it or not. <laughs> but, but I I felt like I feel like, um, I've I've had like uh, or still probably do. I have aged, um. Asperger's or like HTHD, so I'm very like, uh, so I'm, I'm I have a hard time like just um, just grasping the story, and so I'm, I'm very like very into my things, uh, like so I love ge geometric shapes, and, and uh, that's just yeah. So no, I'm not I'm not not much into the story aspect. So yeah, thank you for answering the question. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. You too. Awesome, guys. Um, and I would like, um, yeah, so Abhishek has also a question to ask. Uh, hi, Carl. To visualize gradients and colors, do you make designs in Illustrator first, or you make reflections, layers, styles on After Effects directly? Thanks, good Abhishek. Question. Come on. Good question. Very good question. So the answer to that is basically I do everything in on like a sort of paper and then I take it into After Effects. Uh, and so I never even touch Illustrator, even though I know Illustrator well, quite well. I, I feel like what I'm for the purpose, for my purpose, I, I feel like Illustrator is not needed. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can definitely do it in Illustrator as well. Like I think it, that's also a really good thing. I'm not saying it's bad to start in Illustrator and design doing your design. It can be really powerful, but that's not how I, I've been doing it, basically. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hope that answered. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, I mean, uh, Illustrator, the whole workflow can get a bit, uh, you know, confusing. Mm, yeah. I, I think for me, uh, it only became streamlined once I started using the... Uh, uh, battle axis that uh, overlord uh, plugin. Um, mm. Otherwise, it's all very difficult. You know, you gotta import the Illustrator file and then break it down into shapes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for answering that. And uh, Alina has one more question. Uh, do you want to come forward and ask? Or? Oh, it's okay. It doesn't really matter if you read it or I say it. Oh, uh, thank you for answering the previous question about the gradients. Uh, didn't expect that. I, I thought it's like a gradient ramp or something. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to get into hmm. other ways to do that. Um, so you are a freelance motion designer and you've been posting for a long time now on social media. And I was wondering if you noticed that the social media brings in your clients and if you like have people who actually look for someone with your style and want to do the work that you are actually doing like the kind of loops and geometric shapes mm -hmm. and like if you feel that social media is beneficial for you at all like do you feel like you need to post it or uh, do you do that for to track your progress basically very good question uh thank you for that uh uh yeah yeah um i was about to speak swedish there um um yeah so um i i, I think i've gotten a lot of uh clients through my instagram basically uh, not a lot but i've gotten a big chunk of my just from instagram and dribble and strangely enough a lot of them has come from dribble um and uh but I, I don't think you have to to use Instagram. Or I, I watched the, like a, a a video from School of Motion the other day, and he uh, explained quite well that you actually don't need to have uh, in a social media to get clients. You just have to have a website and just mail clients basically. So I don't think you have to have 
but uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot of clients through uh, Instagram and Dribble. Uh, and um, uh, what, uh, the other part was, um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, so the, the work I get is often like, I've gotten like very few, not a lot of work that has been like, I want you to make a loop. It's happened like occasionally, but mainly it's people who wants to to do something uh, that is like uh, has my style, like looks and styles. It's mean, mean, often not a loop, but it's it's like a, uh, the style there after like the, the gradients and the and the geometric. Uh, so yeah. Um, and I'm sorry, I have to go. So I can probably like take soon. I can take one more question. Maybe I have to. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, I think glad you had to raise your hand. So come forward. Uh, yeah. As, as, as long as it's uh, one question, I guess uh, the question from Amrit is more interesting than mine. So <laughs> from uh, no. about the edges on, on 3D objects. And uh, yeah. You were first so oh sorry yeah. Oh, sorry yeah that's something uh, amrit and i have been wondering myself yeah because you know like what i what i'm just saying that as your, your element is animating you know you that gradient also reacting to that you have a uh, very nice um fillet on the edges of your 3d objects and yeah. we were wondering how you got that uh, uh, effect oh yeah um yeah, so I think uh, sometimes I don't know how to answer that, but um, um, I think it's just uh, it's basically um, so this is just a bunch of shape layers um, that I don't know if you you're familiar with the uh, it's called like a path to sh shapes to path create no nulls from path mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. one it's uh, so I just basically do. Yeah, that, and then I animate the, the notes. Um, uh, and then I have the shapes, like, so I, then I can just add a, like, a, uh, that one, maybe, let's see, it's one. Uh, you see here, like, it's, uh, yeah, it's a shape, and then uh, let's see if something happens here. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, just because this one. Uh, oh. so, so this is how I do it's, it's just nulls, uh, nulls, uh, create nulls from paths, basically. Uh, that is, I think, very, very strong. If you want to do like, uh, like fake three D. I mean, I'm, I'm not a three D artist at all. I'm just like, maybe I, I should be, but I, I don't think I, I, I want to. But so, uh, I just like doing this, like, uh, simple geometric. So, yeah. so is it like a, is it like a tapered? Uh, tapered stroke or is it some shape there where you have put some blur or something because you know edges are but you know feathery what what i feel uh yeah it's it, yeah it's a, a taper like uh, as you said and then okay. i have, have it on uh, overlay because if i have it on white it becomes like this mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like it belongs mm -hmm. so i just yeah. try to have it in the same color like yeah uh, uh, like put it in bit on color and, and usually like overlay is really good. Then you get like it, it, it feels like it's actually belongs on the object instead of of uh, I know it's this white this is white line but yeah um uh, yeah this is how I this is how I do it basically um yeah I think um, I think I'll have to leave now. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, Carl, thank you very much for you know thank taking you. us through all your projects and you know asking you know clearing a lot of things. Yeah. So uh, I know you gotta run. Um, so we just want to say you know we really appreciate uh, taking us through uh, all your projects, and, uh, you know showing us through the files and mm -hmm. letting us pick your brain. Um, so that was like you know. Um, it was very enlightening to know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Carl. And uh, for everyone, we uh, we have it recorded. So we will be um, 
uh, we'll be sharing it on uh, YouTube or another um, streaming pl uh, platform as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, um, thank you very much for everyone who has joined and uh, have a great, you know, day, uh, have a great day, uh, have a good night, you know, since we're all over the world. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Paul. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Take care.